Hi, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to revise circle theorems. Please write down all the circle theorems in your notebook with the examples. So when we start solving past paper questions in the next video, you can refer to your notes. Before we start learning about the circle theorems, we should know the different parts of the circle. So this here is your diameter. This is your radius. This is a tangent. A tangent touches the circle at any one point. This is a chord. And this here is the, called a segment. The first circle theorem is angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. And both the angles start from the same chord. So if you want to find the angle at the circumference and the angle at the center is given to you, you divide by 2. And if the angle at the circumference is given to you and you want to find the angle at the center, you times by 2. Let's solve a few examples. So in this case, we have been given the angle at the circle center and we need to find the angle at the circumference. So we are going to divide 102 by 2, which is 51. So x is 51. The next question, angle at the circumference has been given to us. And we want to find the angle at the center. So x is equal to 42 times 2, which is 84 degrees. In this question, when we are supposed to find x, we can still see that we have angle at the center and at the circumference from the same chord. If we times 50 by 2, we are going to get 100 degrees. This is 100. But we are not looking at this angle. We are looking at the angle above. I hope you know that angle at a point equals 360. So we have x plus 100 and they equal to 360. Therefore, x is equal to 360 minus 100, which is going to be 260. Now, we have been given the angle at the center and we have to find the angle x. Even though it looks different from the other angles we have solved, we, it's still the same thing. We have the angle at the center and we want to find the angle at the circumference and they are both starting from the same chord. So x is going to be 210 divided by 2 which is 105 degrees. This is one more example. We have to find x. For this question, first we will have to find the angle here an angle at a point equals 360. So to find this angle, we have to subtract from 360, 160, and that will give us 200. This is 200. And now to find x, x is equal to 200 divided by 2, which is 100 degrees. The second one, angles in the same segment from a common chord are equal. So this is a chord. And if two angles are drawn from the chord and they both touch the circumference, they are equal. Let's solve a few examples. This angle here is 21 and we are supposed to find x. What is x? x is equal to 21 degrees. And the reason is angle in the same segment from the same chord are equal. Next one, we have to find x but we don't have the corresponding angle here we can see that we have been given this angle this angle and this angle you need to learn and remember all the rules that you have learned before this is a triangle right let's draw it here we have 10 here 
and this angle is 45 plus 15 which is 60 and if I want to find the third angle what will that third angle be the sum property of angles in a triangle states that when you add all the three angles it equals to 90 degrees uh, sorry 180 degrees therefore 180 minus 60 minus 10 will give us 110 therefore this angle here is 110 and x will be equal to 110 degrees the reason being the same that Angles in the same segment from a common chord are equal. The third theorem, the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So if you have a diameter and you have an angle facing the diameter, that angle is going to be 90 degrees. Let's look at this question. This is the diameter. It passes from the center. So angle X is 90 degrees. Angle Y is 90 degrees. Angle Z is 90 degrees. It may look a little bit weird, but every time remember that if you have a diameter and there's an angle opposite the diameter, it is going to equal to 90 degrees. The fourth circle theorem is the alternate segment theorem. The angle between the chord, where is the chord? This is the chord and the tangent. So this angle here is equal to opposite angle inside the triangle so this angle is equal to this and this angle is equal to this angle and whenever you are asked to give the reason you will say the alternate segment theorem let's solve this example here we have been given two angles 32 and 40 and we need to find x and y so using the alternate segment theorem I hope you understand that y is 32 as it is opposite the angle 32 and x is 40. The reason being the alternate segment theorem. The fifth theorem is Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral equals 180 degrees. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral inside a circle where all the four vertices touches the circumference. You will not always have a rectangle. It could be in any shape, but you have to see that the four vertices touches the circumference. So in a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles will always equal to 180 degrees. Now let's do a few examples. So in example one, we have been given two angles and we have to find X and Y. X plus 96 is equal to 180. And Y plus 70 is equal to 180. So let's find X. Sorry about that. X plus 96 is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180 minus 96, 84 degrees. Now to find y, y plus 70 is equal to 180. Therefore, y is equal to 180 minus 70. And that will give us y is equal to 110 degrees. Moving on to the next example. You have not been given any angle inside the quadrilateral but an angle is given outside the quadrilateral. Angles in a straight line equal to 180. We all know that. So if I want to find this angle here, I will have to subtract from 180, 75, and that will give us 105 degrees, correct? Now to find X, because it, angles in a cyclic quadrilateral equal to 180 the opposite angle so x plus 105 is equal to 180 x is equal to 180 minus 105 which is 75 
this is the same as the angle outside so what do you understand from this if we have been given an angle that is outside the quadrilateral that is going to equal to the angle which is inside the quadrilateral but opposite to it that the angle x is equal to the outer angle the six circle theorem the angle between a radius and a tangent is 90 degrees you know that this is a radius and this is a tangent now suppose we have been given this circle we know that this is the center so this is the radius and this is the tangent to find x we are going to subtract 30 from 90 therefore x is equal to 60 degrees as this is the radius this angle here is going to equal to 90 degrees look at the example here this is a point outside the circle and we have two tangents from that point one angle has been given to us and we need to find x using this theorem we know that this side is equal to this side and if two sides are equal it means it's an isosceles triangle if two sides are equal then the opposite angles are also equal so this is 62 now to find x we are going to subtract from 180 62 both the angles 62 62 you can write like that or it's better if you write 2 times 62 and that will give us 56 so x is equal to 56 degrees the next circle theorem triangle formed with the two sides as radius is an isosceles triangle because the radius is equal the opposite angles will also be equal this is an isosceles triangle in this question we have been uh, given a triangle and the two sides are the radius the angle at the center has been given to us we have to find x because this is a radius and this is a radius it's an isosceles triangle so when the opposite angle is equal to x therefore 2x plus 55 is equal to 180 2x is equal to 180 minus 55 divide by 2 125 divided by 2 will give us 62.5 degrees the next and the last theorem the radius through the midpoint of a chord so if you have a chord and it passes through the midpoint it will bisect the chord at 90 degrees we have this diagram with us we know that this is a radius this is a radius and this is a radius and these two sides are equal we need to find x using this theorem we know that this is going to be 90 degrees so what's the value of x going to be using the sum property of angles of a triangle 90 plus 20 plus x is equal to 180 therefore x is equal to 180 minus 110 and x is equal to 70 degrees this brings us to the end of this revision in the next video we will solve past people questions from the same topic if I have helped you, kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.